Okay, so we're gonna install PyEMV, which is a version manager for Python. Now this is a fresh install of uh, Linux 16.04, I believe, on a virtual box. So we're just gonna do PyEMV. Should be the first one. Let's make it this a little bit bigger. All right, so here it just tells you it's a simple Python version management uh, like system, I guess. Here's kind of like an example of what's gonna be uh, going on. What it does, it just changes the global Python version. So if for example, you have Python should have that one, Python 2.7.12. Uh, with this, you can add more uh, versions without overriding this one. So you will always have 2.7.12, and then you will add on to those. And then depending on where you're located at, you'll have that version available, or you can choose another one. So it, it's pretty cool because per project, so if a project uh, requires like version 2. Point something, 2.5, 2.6, uh, you're able to use that exact version for the project. Um, again, if it's a newer one, or you just want to know a little bit more about what uh, Python 3. Point, uh, that, what is it now? 3.4, 3.5 uh, can do, you can also do that. Uh, you can run multiple versions of Python at one time, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Something you definitely need to uh, try out. Uh, it tells you a little bit how it works, so um, in the end it, it's basically intercepting the Python commands, like it's saying here, uh, using shims, and uh, it just redirects your commands to the right Python version. That's basically it. Uh, if you want to know more, just look up uh, shim uh, executables and you'll know kind of like what, what happens there. Uh, it tells you again that you need to understand a little bit more about your path so you know how it works uh, the shims and then your uh, python version how to choose it we'll see that in a second um, so yeah let's begin it's gonna copy this also since this is a fresh install I'm just gonna do a sudo app get install Alright, sorry about that. I had to uh, restart the uh, VM just because I went back to a uh, previous snapshot, but it's good now. So uh, just make sure that you have your uh, git install. We're gonna need it since this is a fresh uh, Ubuntu version. So let's. Uh, make this a little bit bigger alright so next thing we're gonna copy this but because we're using Ubuntu we're gonna do the bash RC so instead of a bash profile I'm gonna paste it here's gonna be bash RC 
then here it's going to be the same. Awesome. Same thing here. Now we're just going to restart our uh, shell. And one more thing before we do this, we're going to need to go uh, all the way to the top again into uh, wiki. And we're going to need to install some dependencies. So we're going to go to common build problems. And here on Ubuntu. He's going to grab this whole thing, copy it, I'm going to paste it. Now this might take a little bit depending on how your system is, but hopefully it doesn't take that long. Awesome. Now what we can do is install a version to test it out. And hopefully it works. So we could do this one. Paste it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I've been playing around with this <laughs> VM a lot, so. Let's just make sure I install also Vim earlier, so. Pluto Vim. And I'm gonna go into my bash RC. I'm gonna go all the way down. Alright, I do have the path right there. So I just need to download the. Well, clone the. Uh, package again the repo there we go um, just refresh it let's try one more time Alright, so uh, now that that's done, what you can do is just do pi env and then just type in versions. And now you can see that we are using the system one, which is going to be the uh, 2.7.12, but the 2.7.8 that we just installed, it's right here. Now let's do another one. Again, it, it takes a little bit, but um, just so we can kind of rotate through them. Uh, install oh and you can do the flag list it, it does it tells you right there in the uh, github repo it tells you all the uh, versions you can download so there's like a, a lot a lot of them so um, let's do IMV install and let's do 3.5.4 and just gonna take a little bit but okay 
Okay, so we do the same thing, versions. Now we have uh, three, two that we added and the one our system has. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's go into our documents. All right, fresh install, so that's cool. Um, let's make a directory. Let's call it pi. We have it right there. We're gonna go into it. Now here, we do a pi environment and we do the version. Uh, it's gonna use the system one, right? But if you wanna do for this uh, directory, for this folder, you want it to be using a certain uh, version. Let's say that you want to use uh, 2.7.8. You can do local, and then you can just do 2.7.8. And now if we do the PyEMV version, it is using that version that we just uh, told it to. Uh, if you're wondering where you can look at that, just go all the way down here and here on commands, it tells you pretty much all of them. So local, uh, it sets a local application specific Python version. Um, so here it tells you this is what we did. Uh, if you want to um, run without a version number, you can do this. Uh, it tells you a little bit more what you can do. More advanced, I guess, options. Uh, the global, really good. Uh, so instead of using your system one, you can always use, let's say, the latest version that you got on your system. So you can do uh, PyMV global and then 3.5.4. So now, again, versions and version, you can see them. So now we're using, uh, in this folder, 2.7.8, but let's open another tab. Let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, so, we're using globally the 3.5.4. Uh, We're not using uh, our system one anymore. Again, you can see it here. Now you can see that the star is at 3.5 instead of our system. So no matter where you are, you'll be using the 3.5. Let's see what else here. So again, advanced options, uh, the shell one, you can always do this. Um, let's see. More options for installing. How to uninstall, rehash, diversion, and versions. That's what I was talking about earlier. So, So yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Super simple, super cool way to be using multiple uh, Python versions. And it took not that long. <laughs>